Hello everyone. Yeah, welcome back um, to Genus Relab. And uh, today we we will uh, continue our study. Um, we will configure IP visit routing. Okay. On my previous video, I have uh, explained about uh, what is IP visit and how to write IP visit already. And today I will go for configuration on router Cisco to implement routing in IPv6. Okay, I will take the uh, software of uh, Genus3 to implement the, uh, the IPv6 routing. Okay, so I will create a project. Uh, I will call IPv6 routing. Okay. Okay, uh, for my example, I will take uh, two routers for implementation and I will take a normal switch that is the unmanaged switch. Okay, and I will take four PCs. Okay, four PCs. Okay, now let me uh, connecting to each other. Okay, organize it properly, nicer, and we can start our configuration. Okay, from router one to router two, I will choose G zero slash zero, and from router one to switch that is a uh, unmanaged switch. Do not forget. Uh, I will take G1 slash 0 and from switch to PC you can take uh, any ports on the switch because uh, this, is, this switch is the unmanaged switch do not care about that if that is the managed switch then we care about the port okay we got the network diagram sorry um, yeah. let me show the label the port label here g1 slash 0 g0 slash 0 g0 slash 0 and g0 g1 slash 0 okay I will give the IP address for each port. Let me start all devices. And for router 1, G0 slash 0, I will give IP address 2001210101011 slash 64. And my router to G1 slash 0, this one will be number 2. Okay. Will be the same rank. Okay. This is the same rank. Slash 64, slash 64, and the same network. Okay. This is the same network. 2001, 10, uh, 10 and 1. This one, uh, all are the same. We are not saying 10 we saying 10 and what about the g0 slash 1 g0 slash 1 i will assign ip address of uh, 2001 but not 210 will be dba 1 2 one slash sixty four and PC3 will be two PC4 will be three. Okay. 
Okay. And what about this? Bottom one, G1, G0 slash one. G0 slash one will be one. Okay. D, B, A, one, one, one. Okay. Slash 64. And P, C, one. This one will be number two. And PC2 will be number three, okay? Okay, let me explain it again. Um, I will close this one. Uh, make it like this. This network is local network for router one. And this networks uh, is local network for router 2 and this network is when network for router 1 and router 2 okay i will implement ospf routing protocol okay ospf 1 it mean as number 1 okay ospf 1 area zero i will implement that okay so let's start configuration from router one we right click on router one console okay and we take enable config t and we we can say no logging console okay to uh, I mean the, to prevent uh, alerting when you type something okay when you type some commands it will alert yes it's turning up it's turning down like that so you can turn it off by typing the, this command no logging console okay no logging so okay let's start configuration ipv6 we say ipv6 unicast routing okay and ip v6 router ospf1 Either you can uh, assign routing protocol before assigning interface or you can assign interface and then you can assign uh, routing protocol. Is Both are the same. Uh, no need to be ordered. Okay. And then uh, we give router1 ID address. Okay. Router1 ID. Router id 1.1.1.1 okay is it and then we go to interface of g0 slash 0 int g0 slash 0 okay g0 slash 0 what is the ip of that this one okay this so we say IPv6 address 2001210101 colon colon 1 slash 64. In IPv6, we cannot say slash directly, but in IPv6, we need to uh, say slash directly. For prefix in IPv6, uh, there will be uh, slash only. No, uh, any 255, 255, no more. Okay, in IPv6, only slash for prefix. So I will choose slash 64 for that. And then for this interface itself we can assign ospf protocol directly from the interface 
IPv6 OSPF1 LV0. We can assign OSPF protocol from each interface. Even even in the in the uh, IPv4, you also can assign OSPF in each interface itself. No need to go to uh, give the network in OSPF routing protocol. But they are working the same, okay? They are working the same. Um, okay, do not forget no shut. Because on router, each interface are shut down by default. Okay, are shut down by default. So we have done configuration for interface G0 slash 0. And then we go to interface G1 slash 0. Then we give IP V6 address 2001. The db8 1 1 colon colon 1 slash 64 okay and also we give the routing protocol in uh, interface the, like g0 slash 0 okay ipv6 ospf1 area 0 and do not forget no shutdown. We have done configuration on router one. That's it. Do not forget to write all your configuration in memory. Okay, WR. This is a uh, this command are these commands are only for for uh, uh, routing only. If you want to. Uh, protect your router you need to uh, set up like uh, enable password uh, console password um, or SSH password you need to set all that for the basic you can watch uh, my previous video my other video that I uh, configured for this configuration um, for set up the security Okay, so we go to router two. Okay, let console and enable the same thing you have done on router one. You need to do the same thing as router two. Okay, router two config t no login console. And we choose IPv6 unicast routing and IPv6 router OSPF1. Okay, router, sorry, router ID to mm, misspelling ID 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. And then we assign IP address on G0 slash 0 like router 1. Okay. We go to G0 slash 0 IPv6 address 2001 210 10 1 colon colon 2 because on router 1 is already 1. Here is 2. Okay. Slash. 64 okay the same uh, you need to assign routing protocol uh, OSPF here yeah? SPF here okay um, LV0 and then we do not forget no shot for interface G0 0 now let's go to interface G1 0 for uh, local network of router 2 IPv6 address 2001 DB8 1 2 
colon colon one slash sixty four. Okay, IPv six OSPF one area zero. Okay, no shot. Done. That's it. Configuration on router two, we have done. Okay, and do not forget to save. Okay, do not forget to save all your configuration on router by typing WR. Okay, let's go to PC configuration. Okay, so we have four PCs. We need to assign IP address for each PC. So let's start from PC1. Okay, to, to assign IP address on router, sorry, on uh, PC, uh, it's the same as IPv4. Do not mention any VC like a router or switch. In virtual PC, we just say IP space 2001 DBA 1112 64. Do we need to assign gateway? No need. Because in GNS3, all virtual PCs will be configured IP address automatically uh, for IPv6 um, how can I say uh, like this in IPv6 there will be one address called link local will be configured automatically and these virtual PCs in GNS3 We'll take uh, we'll take that uh, 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 link local address as a default gateway to link to other network. Okay, so this link local address uh, working as a gateway address. Okay, gateway address. So no need to mention any gateway. Okay. Just enter like this. So PC two. IP, let me see the address, 2001, DB8, 1, 1, colon, colon, 3, slash, 64, okay, slash, 64. Um, let me uh, explain about small letter and capital letter. Um, for IPv6, small letter and capital letter are the same meaning. Okay, you can write uh, it's a small letter or capital letter. Uh, it's the same meaning. Okay, it's not uh, sensitive. Okay, so we have done configure on PC two. Then let's go to PC three. Okay. PC three IP two zero zero one DB eight one two colon colon two slash sixty four okay and we go to PC four is the last PC IP um two zero zero one DB eight one Colon colon three slash sixty four. Oops, I forgot this column. Okay, that's why it's invalid IP address. Okay, yeah, we have done all our configuration for routers and PCs. So let's try to uh, test. Okay, let's try to test. First, I need to ping to my gateway. What is my gateway address? Is this address okay? I'm on PC4 and my gateway address is this one. So I will ping to 2001 the um, V8 1 2 colon colon 1. 
Yeah, I got a reply from my gateway. Okay, let me try try to uh, uh, ping to PC. Let's say PC one. Okay, let's say PC one. Ping to zero zero one. DBA one one colon colon two. Yes, I also got a reply from PC one. It means that um. Routing protocol is working properly. It's working well. So let's go to see inside the router. Okay, let's go to see inside the router, and we we will see something. On router one, we can say show IPv6 route. Okay, um. As you can see, the O here, it means OSPF. Um, where is it? Um, here, OSPF. It means we are using routing protocol OSPF, and this network is belong to router two. Okay, you see, two zero zero one DB eight one two slash zero. Sorry, colon colon zero slash sixty four is belong to local network of router two. Okay, so we 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 learned uh, this network by protocol of the OSPF routing. Okay, and this is our local network. Okay, this is our local network. Um, let's see here. This is the Local network, and this one is our local network. Okay, our local network here. So let's see inside the router two. So IPv6 route. We also learned it from from a uh, uh, PC one. Sorry, a uh, uh, router one network is one one. Okay. So our protocol uh, is working fine, and we can see our OSPF like um, a neighbor. We say so IPv6 OSPF one neighbor. Okay, we have one neighbor is from router one. Okay, this is router ID neighbor ID, and from router one. We also typing the same. So, IPv6 or SPF1 is mean AS number one neighbor. Okay. We have also one neighbor is from router two. Okay, from router two. How long it's uh, has been starting up? Uh, this is the uh, duration of uh, starting up is thirty eight second. We just Configured, so yeah, it's not yet. Um, there are some more commands to see the the uh, IPv6 uh, interface. Okay, let me show you some other commands. Um, so IPv6. Interface brief. Okay, you also can see uh, this interface G one slash zero and G zero slash zero. All are up, up, and we have this address. Okay, as the link local address automatically. Uh, generated from from our MAC address, okay. and this is our real IP address. This means our physical address, physical real, physical interface address, okay. And this is a link local address. This is also link local, okay. And I think that's all for this configuration on IPv6 routing. You can apply this uh, 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 lab as uh, 
by changing the EIG or P routing protocol or or IP routing protocol or you can choose static or default routing protocol and all are working the same so this is my implementation I will take or oh, I'm taking only uh, OSPF routing protocol as example but you can also try with uh, other protocol like I have listed here and you can take this okay and I think that's all thank you for uh, watching this uh, configuration and please do not uh, forget to subscribe my channel uh, to see more uh, configurations on Cisco's and uh, especially based on the networking okay thank you